Hello, and welcome to another Safari TV Diary. Returning to the scene of the crime where Lion had killed a buffalo over the last two days, trees were crowded with vultures waiting their turn, preening in the early morning sun. Two of the young males were at the buffalo carcass as Tara pulled into the sighting. One of them pulling the head around, trying to get at bits of flesh and skin, the last remnants after they'd polished off this kill. Using his side-cutting teeth called carnassals, he was trying hard to get some of the gristle and tendons on one of the leg bones, glancing over at a hyena waiting its turn in the nearby shadows. In the afternoon, I went out for the first time in two weeks, having just returned from leave, finding a very familiar face that we've seen around Gauri recently. A young elephant cow who's missing the last bit of her trunk. In attendance was a young male, a little bull, that has seemed to have been adopted by her, the two of them slaking their thirst after a long day. They had another young bull join them, who seemed to be having a little bit of fun in the mud, slipping around and trying to splash up some really thick stuff for his daily mud bath. With the giant kingfisher watching over the proceedings at Gauri Dam, we headed home to the dam wall, making our way to the other side, and were very, very lucky to find Anduna resting up in the shade. It's absolutely fantastic that we're sitting here in the middle of Africa, South Africa, and we are live with this leopard, and we're able to bring this to you. Waking up after a day of sleep, Every now and then he peered his head over the edge to look down onto the dam if there were any prey to see. And as night fell, we drove home with the silhouettes of the trees against a lovely afternoon sky. Join us tomorrow for another Safari TV Diary.